Welcome back to another video. This video will probably be over the course of like the next week or so, maybe even longer. I don't know. Basically, we just started the moving out process of our apartment in Atlanta, Georgia. We've lived here for the past like three and a half years, right, Jake? Three and a half. Three and a half years. So we've realized that we've accumulated a lot of stuff over <laughs> the course of three and a half years. We've gotten a lot done so far. I'm in our room currently and we haven't done a single thing in here yet, but I think that'll be easy. This is the progress so far. We've taken a lot of, <laughs> this looks terrible. Yeah, it's, but... it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, we have a lot of totes right now. We're trying to get all of our stuff like labeled and in boxes. And then we're going to take all of this stuff to his parents' house, which they have like a big storage room that we're going to hopefully put all of our stuff in. And then this is just trash that we need to throw away. The kitchen has definitely been the most daunting <laughs> task so far. So we started on that cabinet right there. And then we took down the bar cart. That is really dusty. Need to clean that out. Took all like the decor off the TV table. And then... We just had to take down like that decor, probably clean the couch and rug, get it rolled up. Also our patio furniture, you need to get that taken out. We took down everything in our guest room, well Jake did, and so our guest room is completely taken down and so now it's just kind of like become the storage room. Guest mm -hmm. bathroom's also taken down. And then the guest closet for the most part. Stuff for Tampa. Yeah, so we've kind of turned this closet into everything that we're going to take down to spring training. We're living in Tampa for spring training even though his spring training is in Lakeland. We just wanted to live in Tampa. So luckily we get to drive down there. We're not having to like fly. That would be a lot. But anyways, wanted to start off the vlog. I just got home a little bit ago. Went to Pilates this morning. We just had kind of like a chill morning but now we're going to get to work on moving out. We're gonna try to get everything packed up today besides like furniture and clothes and then like some household essentials that we use every day like pans and plates and stuff. So yeah, that is kind of the task for today but I wanted to kind of like document this whole journey because it's really sad. Like this is a big chapter that we're closing together. We moved here basically right before our wedding, which was in September 2020. I think we moved like July or August. We've been here ever since. Like this is our first apartment together. It's a big change in our lives coming up. He has been playing professional baseball for the past six years and I have never traveled with him for a season like even spring training I would always just like visit him for a couple days at a time so I'm like really excited to do it this year living in Tampa is going to be amazing like I've always wanted to live by the beach in Florida just like warmer weather we're actually moving down a couple weeks before he has to report for spring training just so that we can get like settled in to our Airbnb we're staying on Davis Islands which is like 10 minutes from Hyde Park so it's like such a good location it's very safe very residential there's like a dog beach like five minute walk down the road like i've mapped it all out i'm so excited anyways going to document the next couple of weeks as we move out there's like a little gap that we're gonna have where we're gonna stay with his sister and then his parents for like a week each before we move down that'll be like a little gap we'll have but i definitely want to vlog this moving out experience and then moving down to tampa into our airbnb oh i hear footsteps all right, well, we're about to get to packing, so we'll packing, update y'all later. Oh, yeah. Hi, guys. So, it's actually been a few days. Today is Sunday. We are doing some more packing. My parents actually just got here. They are going to help us tonight, like, pack up everything. And then tomorrow, we're getting the moving truck, which is, like, a big U-Haul. And we're going to pack everything up in there and then drive it to Jake's parents' house, unload it and everything. So, this is our progress so far. So, Jake is blaring 80s music. So, sorry about that. This is kind of like our big tub that we're taking down to Tampa for all of the kitchen stuff. Cutting board, strainer, we got some stuff for espresso martinis, an avocado tool, some knives, mixing bowls, measuring cups, our coffee maker. Then we have some other stuff from like the pantry, like coffee grounds, pre-workout, some tea, and then gonna put like spices that we're currently using right now in there before we leave. And then this is just like a bunch of other random stuff. We've called this our Tampa closet for the past like two weeks. Anything we want to take down to Tampa we've just thrown in here so we have a full length mirror and then we're trying to decide like what luggage we're gonna bring 
think I'm just gonna bring my Bay's like medium size luggage and then also like a large check bag. And then this is actually going to be a tote that I put all of my winter clothes in, like my parka, some sweatpants, sweatshirts that I don't necessarily wanna bring down to Tampa, but I do wanna have for the baseball season. Basically, I don't think I explained this. So spring training is like two months, almost two months. And then he gets sent to his affiliate for the season. So it could be one of a few places and they're all like in the north. So obviously April, May, it's still gonna be pretty cold up there, but I'm not gonna wanna bring like my winter clothes down to Tampa. Then we have like bath rug, blankets, and then this is like, oh, hi, the reinforcements are here. Hey mom. Hey darling. Hi dad. Ready to help? <laughs> Jake dismantled the bed frame, so that's good. Packing, this is like my big suitcase. This is all for Tampa. And then the bathroom has literally exploded with stuff everywhere. <laughs> We're getting there. And then this big suitcase is for the next two weeks in Atlanta, like with work and outings that I have. Jake and still has Jake, his work cut out. Yeah, Jake has not even started his side of the closet. These are all of the shoes we're taking down for the season, which is a lot, I guess, but I just could not narrow it down. And then this is like hats, beanies, belts, kind of like accessories. And then we gotta get to the bathroom. Thankfully, I basically gutted out the whole bathroom the other day. So all the drawers are cleaned out, so now it's just a matter of organizing everything. <laughs> Reminds me of rolling up cheer mats back in the day. Oh, and then you have to like, you know, remember that? Oh yeah, yep. It's triggering. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Every day of your life, that was good. All right, patty furniture's gone. Rug is gone. One anxious doggy right here. <laughs> oh man, making progress. Current state. A little picnic over there. Mom, found a little counter space over here. All righty, that's all she wrote. In 2875, it's so echoey right now because there's literally nothing. This is so sad. The end of an era. It is. Four years. Four, almost four years. It's like three and a half years. Three and a half years. It was such a good home too. I should have recorded like the state of it this morning. I worked all day, Jake worked out and had a bullpen. So we really didn't get started until like four. <laughs> we got all this done in four hours, right? What time is it? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. So honestly, pretty quick. This kitchen has never been cleaner. <laughs> never. The guest room is honestly pretty clean to begin with because it was obviously vacant most of the time. Oh, it's been such a good first time. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> Hi guys, it's been a little bit of a minute. <laughs> it's currently Saturday, January 27th, and I'm about to do just a very, very little bit of makeup because my friends are having a little going away party for me. I officially leave next Friday, not just I. Jake too, the reason that we're going. We will be there for basically two months. Crazy. I am so excited. I don't think it's honestly sunk in yet that I am moving away from a place where I've lived for the past almost four years. So it's very bittersweet. Bitter for sure, leaving my friends, quitting cheer. I have cheered for the Falcons for four years and it's gonna be very weird not cheering anymore because I've also danced in college at Clemson. So that was four years too. So it's like I have done something, like been a part of a team for the past eight years. And then obviously I cheered and like danced in high school and stuff. But yeah, it's like a huge part of my life. I am close the chapter on so very sad but i'm so so excited for this journey with jake he's been playing professional baseball for six years now and i have not traveled with him at all the past six years like i'll literally just come for like a weekend at a time so this is going to be a huge change of pace for both of us i am very excited to embrace the wag lifestyle i've bought it for so long i'm just very excited to like travel and see what it's like obviously i get like bits and pieces of the baseball lifestyle when i like visit him for like a 
away games, home games and stuff, but this is gonna be a whole new perspective. Jake has actually been down in Florida all week for like a mini camp before spring training. So he actually has not been here all week. It's just been me and Jax, which it's honestly been nice because I've just been able to focus really hard on work. So I've been doing very, very long days. But anyways, I just did like super basic, basic makeup and then I'm going to head out. I'm so excited to see my friends pretty much one last time before I leave, I think. Yeah, because I leave in six days. So this is kind of like our last hoorah all together. We're just like hanging out at uh, Cassie's house. She just bought a house in Roswell. I'm so excited to see it. It looks so cute from the pictures. So Nicole, who you guys have seen in vlogs, she is a full-time realtor and she actually sold Cassidy their first house, her and her fiance, Mitch, which I think is like so freaking cool. So yeah, I'm excited to see it. Excited for Jake to come home tonight. I don't know what time I'll be back, probably late since I'm just gonna be like catching up with my friends. We always just yap on forever. So I'm sure I'll get home late, but he'll be here when I get here. So I'm so excited. It's felt like such a long week here without him. And I told him it's crazy. Like once he comes back, you're stuck with me, buddy, for the next eight months. I mean, of course, I have, like, trips kind of already planned out where I'll be leaving spring training or during the season. So Bree, who's also been in the vlogs, she is getting married in April, so I'll be coming back down to Atlanta for that wedding. She also has her bachelorette in February, so, like, I think in less than a month, and I'm super excited for that. I also, since I'll be in Tampa, I get to drive to the port, so I was hype when I found that out. It's, like, a Friday through Monday, so I think that's, like, the perfect length for a cruise. I have never been on a cruise, so I'm a little nervous about that. I don't think I'll get seasick because I've never gotten seasick in my life or like motion sickness. Knock on wood real quick. So I think I'll be fine, but I'm excited. It's going to be so freaking fun. Like our friend group is just crazy in the best way. Like <laughs> there's never a dull moment. And then at the end of April, me and my college friends, our college friend group are going to Miami. <laughs> which that's gonna be a disaster too. But anyways, I'm about to head out to the going away party. Oh, that <laughs> makes me so sad to say. Bailey, what? We okay. <laughs> Can we take Getting one of set up. Put... Got the dip, the chips, things. elote, yeah. yum, Some fire. Really thanks that. Savannah. Bailey's whipping up some flatbreads. Perfect. Hi. <laughs> what else we got? Some buddy cupcakes. Chips. Not yet frosted. Mm. You made those? And a cake? And Cute. So it's just six cupcakes. Just six of us. <laughs> <laughs> Actually five. That one's a little. Summer. 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 I got this. Show my charm. Oh. Cute. Wait, what are those little cowboy boots? Yeah, little charms. <gasps> Love. This is Cassie's house. Oh Can I show? Is that yeah. okay? <laughs> Guess who sold it to her? <laughs> My Nicole, real, real time Nicole. This is insane right here. Are you kidding me? Her little dining room. Nicole set up the wine tasting for us. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then back there are all the rooms. But this is so freaking cute. This big couch. Ozzy. Hi, Ozzy. Wait. Those are innovative. Literally. <laughs> Not reasoning obsessed no, with the vibe. No, those are so satisfying. Nicole is too much. She literally put her names on these. See, swirl, sniff, sip. Oh, Love. I'm the assistant and the hostess. Oh, uh, not the assistant. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. No, it's recording. Do it. That's yeah, the button. Yeah, 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 I think it's recording now. <laughs> the legend. <laughs> <laughs> I love the shorts. Seriously. Yeah, I love shorts. Sweatshorts. There you go. Hi. Aww. You're welcome. 
<laughs> is everyone ready? Yes, yes, we're ready. ready, ready. <laughs> okay, hi everyone. Thank you for coming tonight. Before we get started, <laughs> we need to go over a few rules, okay? Okay. Who likes the rules? Don't get kicked out. Don't get kicked out. This is why I'm going to you guys aren't going to be listening, right? <laughs> Hi, I'm Nicole DeSantis. I took um, wine tasting Hi, my, my last semester of college, but COVID kind of ruined that, so I really didn't get a good education, so don't judge me on this. <laughs> Here is my lovely assistant and host for the night, Cassidy. Yes. Woo! <laughs> I've um, partake. <laughs> <laughs> she loves wine. So here are the few rules, okay? Kay. Don't stray from these rules. I don't care if you like the wine or Please. not. Got it. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, you guys can all practice on your empty glasses right now before we get started with the wine. Oh, she's gonna make Okay, so practice. first you need to look at the wine. Okay, what does it look like? What's what's the color giving? Clear. Clear. Okay. Clear. White. Next, you want to empty. swirl. You want to swirl the wine. No, no, no. Um. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm the, I'm the swirling isn't good enough. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. God. You want to put your two fingers in between it, like scissor it, and then you want, and then you want to move it around. Okay, as you do this, as you do this, the one. Do you, does anyone know what the legs mean? Tannin. The alcohol content. It's how much. How sugar. long the grapes? It's how much sugar <laughs> is in the wine. Oh uh, yeah, the tannins. That's good. Is that no, tannins? The tannins. The tannins. Yeah. Yeah. Which is actually the sugar. Point for free. So like a super sugary moscato, you'll see will have tons of legs. Lots okay. of legs. All yeah. legs. So the okay. more drink, the more sugar. Yes. The more I like it. I hate it. Some of them are wild sugar. Two. Swirl. Swirl. <laughs> Actually, what it's called is nosing the wine, so you literally shove your whole nose in. <laughs> she set us up. That's not how you actually do it. Okay, that's a snake. Number one. See. Two. Swirl. Three. Sip. And then four. Sip. This is what, what you have to do with wine, okay? This is how you taste. So you take a, a, a small swig. And then we <laughs> <laughs> And then you have to swish it around your entire mouth to get every area of your mouth involved. Oh my so name. as you can see, each area of your tongue is a different sensation. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, so when you guys <laughs> taste the wine, That's swish cool. it in your mouth for a few seconds. Okay. You know, ring it through your teeth. <laughs> That's and then horrible. you can swallow it. Yeah. If you hold your wine like this, which a lot of people do just because it's like easy and Fun. people are like, oh, your hands, up. yeah, it's like warming it up mm -hmm. and it changes mm -hmm. the taste of it. Don't so to try it. to just hold the stem. stem. Mm -hmm. so that's why I, I, like, except for red. Hold it like yeah, if it's red, red, it doesn't matter because it's certain temperature. Typical tasting, you're going to kind of do wines that are like all similar, but these are not similar, so <laughs> just for the purpose. So what was your inspiration behind all these um, wines? A good mixture for my friends. Yeah. friends. We're a great mixture of people together. So. Wow. Aww. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. She's really good. <laughs> Poor Cass. You can't even reach your own counter. <laughs> Wait, are we doing this in the champagne? <laughs> yes, you guys. Wait, so this isn't wine. Wine number one? It is wine. It, it is sparkling, sparkling wine. wine. Did everyone okay. see it? Wait, see? Yeah, see. Yeah, look. Okay. Let's take a good look. Yeah, so check. follow the steps. Did everyone look at it? Yeah, yeah. got it. All right, what's the next how one? Far um, my face legs. Is. How much legs? Legs. She's got legs. Legs for so. days. How fast do you spin it? <laughs> yeah. Not that fast. She's like bubbling out about here. She's like, whoa. All right, and then sniff. Okay, so when you, big when you nose it, what aromas do you Wait, think? Wait, I'm it still stuck on like, what? <laughs> I don't Apple. Apple. Hair. Nutty. Apple. Nutty. 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 You're nutty. Can we sip? Okay, okay. Here, I'm sipping. Yeah, you can sip. Make sure you switch it around. God, I can't smell anything anymore. Some of the bubbles. Did you mouth that? <laughs> 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 that was spicy. And then okay. what's the last one? That's so would that. anyone um, say that it's a nice golden color? You yeah. should say that. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Seven seven like that. Three and a half. I gave I like her three out of four. I'm not obsessed with her, but I like she's Honestly, yeah. this is oh, easy drink. Nice. Look at these legs. We're drinking our drinks. Look how Yeah, why not? Look how it comes. I like it. Cheers. I like a little sparkle. Oh yeah, we need a cheers after all of them. Oh yeah. 
Everyone so actually. Oh, I was just saying, everyone needs to finish off. Yeah. 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 There are good ships and bad ships and ships that sail to sea. Ew. But the best ships are friendships. Aww. And may they always be. Aww. Aww. Cheers. 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 Okay, we're gonna sit. It's giving nuts. Yes. Come here. It's giving nuts. It's giving nutty. Okay. Yeah, wait. Really? It is. What what aromas are you guys getting? Nuts. Wait, I just burned it. Nuts. You said that about the I last one. They I said like apple is the last one. Yeah. Yeah. I don't smell differences. I said apple. I'm getting, apple. I'm getting I'm apples, apples for this one. No, I am not getting pear. Pear. This is yeah. a pear. Pear it smells good. just like okay, this. Okay. Is not woody. The last one was medium body. This is light body. This is lighter than the other one? What is that kumquat smells like? Oh, I love a kumquat. What is that? Wait, what is medium and I'm sipping. Okay, wait, wait. Light wine. Yeah, sip, sip. Actually, What does it mean? Sip, sip. Light body, medium. Body, what does that mean? Like the full. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Like yeah. red is usually. Oh, I like it. It's not bad. What is that? Like lucky sour. It's sour. It's sour. It's oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna okay. call this one sour one. Yeah, I mean this is mid. That's Hi guys. It's the day before we leave for Florida. We leave tomorrow bright and early. I'm like so giddy right now. I'm also a little stressed because we really don't have our cars packed whatsoever. Let me just show you guys what we're working with. So we have all of this we have to pack up. This is our little bag of cleaning supplies. His mom gifted us this stick vac shark. I'm so freaking excited about that. I think that the place has a vacuum, but this will just like be really nice and easy to travel with. This is one of the rooms we kind of took over with our crap so this is stuff that i've just been using for the past like three weeks that we've been living with his parents just like winter stuff that i'm not gonna be taking down to tampa so i just like need to put away in storage this is a bag of clothes that i am giving away to a friend and then this is a bag of spices that we're gonna take down and then this is like a suitcase full of clothes that i need to take down i have a lot of space on this side that i need to fill up and then these are extra clothes that i need to pack but i don't want to pack in here so i think i'm just gonna put these in a duffel bag these are all of my purses that I'm gonna hang up, but I didn't want them to get like damaged And then this is like bras underwear socks all of that good stuff And then this I think is sports bras. Yeah sports bras and athletic tops This bag is just like miscellaneous things my hair straightener. We got a lint roller We got band-aids a candle shower filter because I don't know what the water is like in Florida I feel like I've heard that it's hard. Oh No, oh no Oh no, not the deep pillar. <laughs> and then I have my hatch alarm. This is just kind of like a catch-all bag. Like just a lot of random stuff. Like our dog spy camera thing in there. I don't know. This is a jewelry holder that I'm going to fill with my jewelry. And then, oh, I have this. Hi, I'm in here. Good. I'm vlogging. And then I have this empty suitcase I'm going to somehow fill. This is our big tote of kitchen stuff. And then I have a bunch of clothes in those bags. And I haven't decided if I'm going to take my wakeboard yet or not. I don't know. And then his mom gave us this little crock pot. Because I have a big one, but this will honestly be a lot better to like travel with. Now for the fun part. <laughs> Fitting all of our crap it's actually kind into of the cars. It's like, a it's like Tetris. <laughs> this is not even, uh, it's probably half of our stuff. No, that's more than half. I don't know. So I have this big suitcase in here. That's most of my clothes. And then I have like bags of clothes like with them already hung up like on hangers. I think that's going to go probably in here. This is where Jax is going to be. He has this little hammock back here that's like flat on the bottom. You can't really tell. But I'm going to set up this like little comforter for him so that he's nice and cozy. Well, we did it somehow. <laughs> Almost. Just about. How does this thing come up? Got everything loaded. We are ready to go. I'm so excited. This feels still so surreal. I could travel with him. I feel like every year, this night, I'd be helping him pack his car and crying, bawling my eyes out, <laughs> telling him goodbye for eight months. But not this time. You gotta dig. Bang! Got it? Yeah. Are you excited? I am excited. For me to travel with you? I'm relieved. I'm so excited. We got everything that we needed packed. I'm also, yeah, very shocked by that. We Sum didn't have to sacrifice anything. Summer's nomad life looks a little different than my nomad life. Yeah, I have a lot of clothes. And I even dwindled down like a good bit, but I still have a lot of clothes. And also because she's traveling with me, I think it's important that she's comfortable too. So we brought yeah, some stuff. Yeah, and it's also eight months. Like it's not just like a three month trip. Right. It's eight months. We it's brought some here. stuff that I otherwise wouldn't have brought, but that's all right. 
it'll be nice yeah. to have it. Yeah, we made it work. And you gotta think, like, we also had to bring a whole kitchen, basically. Shoe rack, full-length mirror, like, there was a lot of stuff that we had to bring. So, I think we did a pretty dang good job. But, we're gonna go to bed now. Can you imagine if I still had the Mustang? Oh my god, no. Yeah, Jake used to drive a Mustang, a little two-door. She probably wouldn't been live with Mustang. me. Yeah, no, I would. we would not have been able to make it work. We would be towing a U-Haul. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, that Mustang literally couldn't fit any, anything. But we're about to go to bed. Jake has workouts at 8.45 in the morning, and then I'm going to meet him down there, and then we'll head to Florida from there. One more workout, one more bullpen. Between us and Florida. And then we're gonna go to the beach. I'm so excited. Today's the day. Where's Jake? It won't focus. We are literally in the varsity parking lot. If you don't know what the varsity is, basically it's this like famous fast food restaurant that has like hot dogs, burgers, fries, shakes, that kind of thing. This looks really good. Oh baby. The greasier the better. Oh heck yeah, these look amazing. No, that was present. Yeah, out, like a light. I was sitting in this chair four years ago. Four years because no, it was it was a remote clip. Twenty twenty, we were in. Made it to Florida. We made it to Tampa. I am like so freaking giddy right now. We are like five minutes from our Airbnb, and this is totally not safe to be doing while driving. But this city is so freaking beautiful. Like you can't even see, but that's, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's down, downtown or what, but we're gonna figure it all out together. So we just crossed the bridge on to Davis Islands and it's the cutest little place, oh my gosh. We just passed like a little downtown strip with like all of these cute restaurants. They had a little Mexican restaurant, a little pizzeria. I'm so happy right now, like you, I can't even describe how excited I am to be doing this. I could start crying, but I'm not going to. Bubba, you home. What do you think? Okay, we just got here. It's small. It's definitely not. We're not in Atlanta anymore, but a little kitchen. It's actually kind of spacious. Good cabinet space, thank God. We were worried about that. Jackie, what do you think, sweet boy? Oh my goodness. A little bathroom. Can you believe it? We're here. We're actually doing this. Okay, so we're gonna unload everything. We have a lot to unload. Put away our groceries. We stopped by Publix on the way in and just got some things for like breakfast tomorrow and coffee creamer and then Jake's meal plan of ground beef and rice every day. And then I got some fruit. Publix fruit is the best, it's superior. And yeah, so we're gonna put this stuff away, get unpacked, and then tomorrow we'll probably have a fun little day. Probably wake up early, go to the beach. Jax, you can go to the dog beach. He makes you new friends. He has no idea what's going on. No, he's got a little bit of anxiety. He got anxiety, it's okay, Bubba. We're gonna have fun together, okay? Jake is starting to bring stuff in. So I'm gonna get everything. Oh, I don't know if this is supposed to happen. We vacuum sealed all of our bedding, like blankets and towels and pillows and stuff to be easier to pack. And honestly, that was such a game changer. I'm just excited to have like our stuff here. Like, we're gonna change out the sheets and like pillows and stuff. So that feels like home, you know? He is so anxious, I feel awful. This is the current state. <laughs> we got everything in from the cars, so that was big. I set that up how I had it, like at the apartment. It's just easier because I have clearly a lot of skincare products. And then I think I'm gonna put all of my hair products up there. I'm gonna put my supplements in the kitchen. And then the kitchen is a bit of a disaster right now. We cleared out both of the tubs. I don't know where the other one went. So I think we're gonna put these like wallflowers everywhere, even though there's not a lot of outlets throughout the apartment, which we've noticed. So I might just like do two for now, because it also is like a pretty small apartment. We're kind of just like putting stuff in random places and then we'll like adjust as it makes sense. We're gonna try to get as much done today as possible. We'll give you an update tomorrow once we're hopefully more done. Alrighty, day one. We have been setting up the place all morning, but we just changed into some workout clothes because we are about to take Mr. Man on a long walk and just see like the downtown area. We did a little rearranging in here. So that desk was in there originally, but we just set up our clothing rack so that we have more space to like hang up clothes. This is still very much a work 
work in progress. I'm going on a trip on Monday, so I need that suitcase, and then that's like some things I'm gonna put in there. Shoe rack still needs to be worked. And then these drawers have been a lifesaver. They are like super deep. So we have like undergarments in here, and then Jake has t-shirts in there. I have all my leggings, shorts, tennis skirts, biker shorts, anything like that in there. And then these are all sports bras, tank tops, these are all Jake's shorts, so I guess we have some space back there for stuff. And then down here are all of his shorts, or pants. And then these are pajamas and t-shirts. Have all of my jeans and cargo pants folded in there. This is our <laughs> hanging space currently. And then this is all stuff that I still need to hang up on here. Kitchen is... Oh, did you spill something on your shirt? Splash water on it. <laughs> Jake set up the, our water filter in the shower. Got all of my products out. This was gonna be for the bathroom, but it's too small to have two in there, so we just put it in here. I don't know if we're gonna end up getting like a long runner or something. And then Jax's food bowls, pantry, still kind of in the works of organizing. Coffee maker I need to clean out. We just had coffee this morning. And then makeshift little bar cart. <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. This place is starting to feel like home. <laughs> But I think we're about to take him on a walk and check out the downtown area. He's been like anxiety ridden all day, so I think he deserves to go. He's been an absolute trooper. He has. I just look like a clown. I haven't vlogged in a minute, but... You look, you do look like a joker. I know. Wanted to end off this vlog because I feel like it's gotten very, very long. Today I have a face mask on and whitening strips because I'm going to California tomorrow for a sales trip. We just had some dinner, made spaghetti, and we're watching the Grammys. It's been very interesting so far. A lot of opinions, but anywho, multitasking and reading too. How about to go to bed? I get up at about 6.15. Oh, okay, this is nominee for best pop vocal album. Is it gonna be Taylor? Grammy goes to Taylor Swift. Woo! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, pop off queen. Thank you to the members of the recording academy for voting this way. I wonder if she's um, going to announce reputation. The recording academy voted is a direct reflection. I wanna say thank you to the fans by telling you a secret that I've been keeping from you for the last two years, which is that my brand new album oh my God. comes out April 19th. It's called, it's called the Torch of Poets Department. It wasn't a reputation announcement, it was a new album. Oh my gosh, wait, what? Anyways, we're gonna end off this vlog. I can't believe I'm putting myself on the internet looking like this. Alright, we'll see you in our next video. Bye!